Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm thrilled to share with you an in-depth tutorial on how to create your very own custom subscribe button for your videos. Having a personalized subscribe button not only adds a professional touch to your content, but also encourages viewers to subscribe to your channel. If you're ready to take your channel to the next level, let's dive right into the process. Step 1. Let's kick things off by opening your preferred web browser and navigating to Canva's website. Once you're on the Canva platform, go ahead and create a new design project. Start by uploading your channel logo and adding your channel name or any other text you'd like to include. Take your time to customize the colors, fonts, and layout to match your channel's branding and aesthetic. Now that we've laid the foundation for our design, let's move on to step two. Navigate to the Elements tab on the Canva toolbar and search for Subscribe. Browse through the options and select a subscribe button that resonates with your channel's theme and vibe. Once you've found the perfect button, add it to your design canvas in step three. Next, click on the video element and access the edit video options. Here we want to remove the background from the video to create a transparent effect. Use Canva's built-in background remover tool to eliminate the background from the video clip. Adjust the size and position of the video element within your design canvas to ensure it complements your overall layout. Now, before we proceed to the next step, let's take a quick detour to download a green screen background. This will serve as the backdrop for our subscribe button, allowing us to create a transparent effect when overlaying it onto our main video content. Open a new browser tab and search for green screen backgrounds or chroma key backgrounds. There are plenty of free options available online, so choose one that fits your preferences and download it to your computer. Back in CapCut, let's move on to step five. Create a new design project and import both the green screen background and the design you created earlier. Once you've imported the necessary elements, position them within your design canvas, with the green screen background serving as the base layer and your design overlaying it on the top layer. Step seven is where we add the finishing touches to our subscribe button animation. Click on your design video element and apply a mask to it. Choose the rectangle shape option and adjust it to encompass your subscribe button design. This masking technique allows us to define the area where our subscribe button will be visible. Next, let's add some animation effects to make our subscribe button stand out. Select the animation options for your design video, choosing a slide up animation for the in animation and a slide down animation for the out animation. Adjust the timing and duration of the animations to achieve the desired effect ensuring a smooth and polished transition. Um, with our design and animation complete, it's time to export our video project. In step eight, navigate to the export options in Canva and select the desired settings for your video. This process may take a few moments to complete. Now that we have our final video with the subscribe button animation, Let's move on to step nine and test it out. Create a new project or open an existing video project where you want to incorporate the subscribe button. Import your finalized video with the subscribe button animation and position it on the timeline. Use the background remover tool to eliminate the green screen background, leaving only the subscribe button visible. Adjust the size, speed, and position of your subscribe button to ensure it aligns perfectly with your video content. Once you're satisfied with the placement and appearance, preview the video to see the subscribe button animation in action. And there you have it. By following these detailed steps, you've successfully created a custom subscribe button for your videos using Canva. Congratulations on taking your channel's branding and engagement to the next level. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content creation tips and tutorials. And let me know in the comments below if there are any other design or editing techniques you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching, and happy creating.